YouTube, baby, what's going on? It's your boy, Salvation Zip. We're back with another video, guys. And as you know, man, we're talking about Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer. As I'm sure all of you guys have already seen, it got revealed. The gameplay was shown today. All the streamers were playing, and all the content creators have posted their gameplays. It's everywhere. And we're, we finally know what we're getting into with 2019 Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And first impressions? I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty pumped about the game and the potential that this year has. But I definitely think it's important for us to talk about the implications that this gameplay probably will have on competitive Call of Duty and how the competitive scene will hopefully, you know, we're gonna give a little idea of how it might play this year with everything we now know about the game. So just for the quick beginning of this video, I'm gonna be going over what I liked about the gameplay and what I thought about the gameplay. And then in the second half, we're gonna talk about the implications that it has on competitive. So like I said, I loved the gameplay that we saw today. I literally, everything about it got me hyped when it came to the actual mechanics of the game for the most part i was really excited about it it played fast way faster than what we thought it was going to be based off, based off that little bit of 2v2 gameplay we saw in the previously like this looked awesome thoroughly loved it like legitimately if you would have told me that the 20v20 mode was going to be in this game before today i would have thought wow they're just gonna be trying to be battlefield it's gonna look really stupid it's gonna suck but I thought it looked awesome. It looked like a ton of fun. And like legitimately when it comes to the base multiplayer, the casual multiplayer, that's what I'm actually most excited about. I would have never thought that literally just a day ago. So I actually truly am excited about trying that one out. Today, basically, I was just watching TP, Shroud, and Doc for most of the day. Just based off watching them, my two favorite guns were definitely the MP7 and the M13. Those things were nasty. They look like so much fun to use. And I actually little legitimately cannot wait to try those ones out and what i also thought was really interesting was the night vision mode i know a lot of people were really skeptical about it but for me personally i think it's like an awesome change of pace mode for what normal call of duty is like it's definitely gonna look like it plays more like hardcore since there's no hud and you're playing like in pitch black darkness um just with night vision it plays way slower and way different than normal multiplayer but i thought was really interesting in the laser sights and, and how you have to t play tactically like personally I'm really excited about that when it comes to just playing the multiplayer. So as we know, there's no mini map for the multiplayer, but you can get a personal UAV really quickly. It's like three kills on like normally, and then two kills with the hardline perk. It's weird they do it like that. So half the time, a good player is going to have their mini map anyway. So why not just have it in the game all the time? I, I think that might be something they end up going back on. We'll have to see how they stick to their guns because I mean, it doesn't really make much sense to me in the first place to remove the minimap, but we're definitely going to talk about that in a second because competitive is going to have it a little bit differently. So the other thing I wanted to quickly touch on was the crossplay. They announced that the beta is going to have crossplay, which is insane. I was skeptical that I was even going to be ready at the start or at launch, and it's actually going to be ready for the beta, which is pretty crazy. The beta opens up on PS4 on September 12th. And then I think the crossplay starts like a few days later. I, I don't have the I don't have the, I don't have the dates right in front of me, but something along those lines. All the guns really overall looked really interesting, and the attachments is something we're gonna talk about in a second. I'm just gonna save that whole attachments conversation for the competitive aspect because that could be a cluster. So anyway, I was really happy with the whole like list of guns so far that we have. So as you guys have seen right here, Charlie Intel put a list together of all the guns that we currently know. They, they left out, I think, pistols or something. I don't know why they left out pistols, but all of the main guns is what we know right so far. And like I said, I'm very happy with the list and there's even gonna be more of them. So I mean, I, I really can't complain about that at all. So now competitive, this is what you guys are here for. This is what I'm here to talk about. The mini map is confirmed for competitive, which is really, really interesting. One of the devs said on Twitter that there is going to be a mini map in competitive, which is like really weird. Um, I mean, just another way to differentiate competitive with pubs, I guess, if that's what they're trying to go for. I'd say that's a good sign for competitive. At least they're, you know, they're, they're showing some type of interest and care for competitive right off the rip which is what you like to hear from the devs. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the attachments. Attachments are going to be a nightmare. Right now, so many attachments are banned. There were so many attachments banned and changed this year just for Black Ops 4, and that's been the same case basically every single year. At least Rapid Fire and High Cal have always been banned. And then there's plenty of other attachments like this year, like Stock 2, FMJ2 that took the hit, and like, you know, all over the place, there's different attachments that pros have a problem with. And now, this year, there's literally over 30 attachments per gun. Like what dude who whose idea was this but at the end of the day i actually watching it i'm like this is actually sick like legitimately i was impressed with the with the customization the attachments how you can change all that stuff is actually sick and i'm really excited to try that out and try all the different customizations drifter said that you can actually make your gun worse with the attachments as in every attachment has 
like real true pluses and minuses or positives and negatives to every single attachment and he said that in multiple occasions he added attachments that made his recoil completely unbearable drastically reduced his range or the muzzle flash was overbearing or things like that like attachments apparently make a massive difference and he said that there's going to be probably some attachments that end up really rising to the top as the best ones but right now everyone's just trying them out so nobody really knows so competitively that's something we have to watch for whether it's going to get to a point where all the pros ga basically every other attachment and there's just a set normal list of attachments that everyone pro runs like it's going to be hard to say i'm just going to assume there's going to be some garbage attachments that nobody uses and there's going to be a, a decent like list of attachments or a decent amount of attachments that are pretty normal and pros might use once in a while for certain situations but it's not going to be anything crazy what they did say though is really interesting is that you can switch what attachments are on your guns in between lives so not only do you have classes but you can actually in the class switch the attachments between lives so not only now do you have to have eight icr classes you could in theory just have one icr class and then adjust the attachments after you die or in between rounds and snd or whatever it is so that's a massive change and that truly is going to have an effect on the strategy for search and destroy for rotating certain hills and hard points so it's, it is going to affect the gameplay in some way or another more than just switching out what class you have which might just be one attachment but at this point now that is going to be a big change for competitive when it comes to movement the slide canceling is still there apparently um it's not nearly as quick or as dominant as it is in this game um tp tried it out a little bit it didn't seem like it was gonna have too big of an effect on the the gameplay in general but we're still the jury's still out on that one we're not exactly sure how that's going to play on head glitches or sliding around corners and how that slide cancel might come into play so that is something to keep an eye on right as the game drops during the beta testing out that movement with the slide canceling so there's two more things that i really want to talk about the next thing is cross platforming for competitive we don't really know how it's going to work yet which is a little worrisome when it comes to like rank play gbs how is that going to work with the competitive playlist in in modern warfare like do we have to play against pc players so are pc players ever going to be allowed to play in rank play how is that going to work because like they said in multiplayer you can opt in to play against all players so if you're playing with a pc player say you're on ps4 you're playing with a pc player you have to opt into playing against pc players to be able to have him join you so from the sound of it you're only going to be playing against pc players if you opt in to play against pc players so is that how it's going to work on ranked will there even be enough players on ranked if you're opting in to play against pc players to play ranked like that's a legitimate question because in past cause there's less than a hundred thousand average players on the cod game on pc so it's like is there even going to be enough of a community playing ranked on pc to cross platform with i don't know that's going to be a real question like will gbs allow you to play cross platform will you be able to play with pc players on gbs it's hard to say nobody really knows at this point and that is going to be a massive question moving into the year so this last part is the biggest concern i have for the game which comes in with tacticals throwables in general nades tacticals versus trophy systems so at this point what we know is trophy systems aren't actually one of the tacticals they're only available in like the power perks i'm not sure what the tactical term is for that but they're the rechargeable basically specialists they're not really specialists they're just chargeable they're just rechargeable abilities like one is stopping power rounds and you, and you always get two of them to equip so you like generally people had either stopping power stim cells or trophy systems those are like the three ones that's going to be an interesting meta to keep an eye on as well is like our players going to be able to use stopping power if i had to guess it's going to be ga'd but you never know like our players going to be able to use trophies how's that going to work how often do you get trophies because it looked like you're only going to get trophies like two times a game kind of like a specialist is right now and so there's going to be a lot of nade spamming just like world war ii and that was the worst part about cod world war ii was the nade and concussion spamming off of spawn just having to chuck up the concussions chuck off the nades like every single time off spawn was really annoying and that is my biggest worry going into modern warfare but overall i was really really happy with the game i was coming in a little nervous not sure how it's gonna work out but i'm coming out the streaks look awesome the guns are awesome the maps i thought were really cool the designs were pretty nice really interesting and a lot different than our normal maps that we've been seeing these last few years so shout out to infinity war for making a pretty exciting awesome launch having all the streamers there doing this big old event having this much gameplay on the launch was really exciting and overall a totally positive experience for the call of duty community so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did like comment and subscribe share it if you guys really enjoy it drop all your comments down below about what you think about the competitive scene 
what are your worries going into the year, how you think about the game. I'll, I'll reply to as many of them as possible. But as always, guys, I appreciate the support. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy. And as always, guys, I'm your boy, Salvation League, and we will see you next time. I'm out.